Well, according to all the promises and expectations, um, uh, the higher the automation is, the more safe uh, road mobility may become. And at the same time, it might lead to environmental improvements as well because the uh, local pollutants and greenhouse gas emissions might be more controlled and more diminished. Uh, naturally, these are the expectations and we hope that they will come true because if technology helps us to save lives uh, that are lost today, too many, uh, then um, we have to accelerate moving towards automation. But when we recognize that we don't, we have a lot of unknown factors about automation. Um, it also shows that uh, it's not that bad if we don't rush, but we take step by step and we understand the different levels of automation and we facilitate the regulations adapted to the different levels. For example, the liability of the driver, uh, how long the driver is liable for what's happening, uh, that's a very crucial question. And that will have an impact also on the level of acceptance uh, by the public of autonomous driving. Well, I believe in uh, market economy. So as long as there are good examples, then the business will build its case. But at the same time, definitely, we need uh, regulations at multinational level that will ensure interoperability of the new technologies as well. And in that way, uh, that will ensure most likely more co uh, confidence in the new technologies. So to some extent, the regulators um, at international level can facilitate the acceleration.